back everybody here we go again I picked up two pallets so I'm gonna make this into a two-part series maybe a three-part series depending on how long it starts to take me but without further ado hopefully we have something better than my last one if you saw it so let's get cracking what do we have we have Masiki Masiki always care about you I'm not quite sure what that might be. Hope everybody's doing fine. Where we are, we're entering another lockdown. Just doesn't seem to want to end these days. Okay. Uh, foot spa, bucket massage, heat bubbles, four motorized massage rollers. Okay. Kind of condition too. Okay, Jose. Wow, pretty fancy paperwork's in there. Just trying to take a good look. Uh, you know what? It looks. I'm gonna have to say it looks new. Usually, with any kind of watered products. I mean, either they clean that really, really well, or I'm going to have to say it's uh, in new condition. So, uh, I mean, it was out. Cord is not wrapped up original. So I'm going to have to take a better look into that. But other than that, it looks like a pretty good product. Dive deeper into that. I'm not quite, quite sure what kind of demand that will have, but... You know what? Anybody can use a kind of massage, foot massage, body massage these days. Try and get some of this stuff out of the way. Gourmia. Pressure cooker. A little taped up funny. Kind of hoping I ended up, uh, when I noticed a few, quite a few small appliances, air fryers, uh, slow cookers. I'm praying they're brand new. Makes my life a little bit more easy uh, trying to get rid of this stuff as used uh, products. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, they really don't sell for much. So, let's see here. Kind of everything scattered all over the place. So, I can tell you one thing for sure it has been taken out. That's, uh, that's for sure. pretty good so, so far it looks uh, it looks pretty good I guess so uh, it was taken out everything is taken out so again it's one of those products where hopefully it was uh, it was given as a gift somebody purchased it and then uh, decided to change their their mind because I do not see any wear on it at all so that's a good could be a good find right there. Throw all this back in. And I'll have to find out how it was properly packed at the factory just to make it as uh, nice as nice as I can. So pressure cooker, good find. Uh, I haven't had any of those yet. So we do have a slow cooker. Uh, slow cookers, pretty much a dime a dozen these things. Um, this is a, a seven quart, so the advantage I have is it is a big one. Wow, again, I'm not going to see their, I don't think they're going to have to pack here. This doesn't uh, sound all that great. Well, upside down doesn't help. So, construction booklet. Let's see what we have here. Ooh. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know what? It is broken. So, we can tell you right now, this is why it came back. The hole inside is broken. So, that being said, we know what kind of value that has. Uh, that's a shame. Seven quart. 
These are, uh, this one actually would have demanded a little bit more money because it has that Paleo certified pot that it cooks in. Um, what I will do for the time being, oh, sharp, eh? Um, is I'm going to see if I have any other ones. I don't think I, I don't think I do. And uh, I'm going to keep the lid. I'll end up keeping the lid just in case I end up finding one and the lid's broken, lid's missing, so it makes it easier. Every time you have a salvage product like this, if there is something that you could get from it that might benefit you in the long run, keep it because the last thing you want to do is throw something out and then guess what? I just threw something out and that had the part. So let me get this out of my way a bit. Oh, that's too bad. What do we have? This is a mystery box. Mystery box. Ooh, okay. LED light. Look at that. Uh, it's not telling me exactly what it is. Usually they uh, they have a description. It's a light of some sort. LED light. Fancy smanchy. Uh, see how it's brought in. Okay, so this is what I was looking for here. Is the cord. And it has two wins on the cord. Which is not a plug. So I'm going to have to say this goes on your vehicle. Just by the, how the outlet is uh, for the plug-in. So that has to do with something for your car, truck. Uh, I don't know if you put it above on a Jeep or at the bottom. I'll have to dig in, dig into that and see exactly what it is. Um, I do have a mechanism that I uh, rigged up that I can at least plug into that and see if it works. So that, that's okay there. Let me bring this over. Might as well do everything on the table uh, so everybody can take a look and then I'll move to the other everything else. So this is another light. 300 watt, 5000K hyper. Okay, let's see. Uh, this is a big one. I'm not sure if this is exactly where do you put this? Must be just for the garage. Wow, that's a, that's a beaut, guys. This is another LED light, you can tell. Uh, look at that. Beautiful. Okay. Bracket. So that just hangs there. Again, another one. Hardwired. It has been, you know what? It has been used. I'll have to double check. Or at least somebody had hooked it up. Uh, and the only reason I know is because the wires, when they come from the factory, are completely straight. And these have already been twisted, so you can tell that they've been connected already, which is not, not a big deal. I mean, if it works, that's all that really counts. There is two in here, so maybe they hooked the one up. It didn't, uh, it didn't do exactly what they wanted to do, and the other one's still brand new. Have to take a look at that. But nonetheless, lights like that, they're a good find. You know, you put these in the garage, outside, anywhere, really good find for stuff like that. Okay. This is a pretty light box. I don't, I don't see there being much in here. Yeah, not really, eh? Um, so you had a box of... Okay, so all four are here. There's four in a box. Ultrasonic pest repellent. Yeah, probably sent it back because I'll be honest with you, I really don't think they work. I've uh, seen some reviews. Some people say they do and other people say they don't. I have to, I don't know, I'll plug it in and see what happens. I mean, non-toxic, I and mean, as long as they don't hurt uh, your animals, good to go. Uh, and somebody had sent back with that orthopedic pillow. Uh, good thing is, it's brand new. This is still factory wrapped. 
So, at least, you know, I'm not, a, I'm not a fan on bedding. I really don't have much luck selling it. But when it's brand new like that and still wrapped, you're always going to get a few dollars for it, which makes life a little easier. So. We have a portable monitor. Okay, we have all the cords. Everything's nicely twist tied still. User manual, it's in here. Okay. Okay, so there is a couple fingerprints on it, but that's okay because, yeah, the fingerprints are on the cover they give you. Uh, I'm not sure, okay. So, there is a stand that you can put, boom, boom. Where's the power button menu? So, we'll have to charge her up. And 15.6 uh, inch, take a better dive into that. You know these portable monitors, I really don't know uh, what kind of demand there is for them. I guess they would be convenient in certain circumstances, but uh, I mean, I personally wouldn't see it as a, you know, an easy sell, but you know, nonetheless, it's brand new. Uh, I do know that they sell for $200 and up. So, you know what, it's a good find. As long as you don't know, just have to find a buyer for it now. And you know what, from what I'm getting so far, and if you watched my last show, uh, you know, very disappointed. I didn't get a lot of good stuff. So this is really nice from uh, what I recently had received. So I'm not complaining at all. So we have here Gourmia Grind and Brew 6 Cup. That's all dust, so it's uh, being the box being ripped open like that. So far, uh, I'm going to have to say it looks like it's pretty new, but you never know, eh? It's dusty, just dusty. You know what? No watermarks on it. I'm going to have to go so far at this point. Uh, it's brand new. But I'll, obviously, like everything else, I will take a better look later and uh, see what we have. Because uh, it's just really, from what I can tell, it's just really dusty. So that's a good find. Six cup, grind the beans on top. I'm really happy with that. Let's see if I can get this back in the box. There we go. Like I say, box is a beat up, but if it is brand new, it's an easy, easy sell because uh, I just, uh, I just uh, say it's a damaged box. No problemo. Okay, table lamp. Awfully light, awfully light. Really small table lamp. Okay, so. Here it is here. Okay, you know what? It's like, it is old traditional table lamps. There's actually two in here. This is brand new. And then you have your uh, shades. Hopefully they're still good, yeah. Still good condition. So you have your shades, two shades, boom, boom. The other one's in here, still packed up nicely. I'll leave it in there. These are brand new. Ah, uh, again, easy sell. Not worth, uh, not, they're not worth a lot of money, but nonetheless, any brand new product, I'm happy to receive. I just gotta gently, you know what? I, mean, there. I just don't need problem to take this stuff out sometimes. It's such a pain trying to get it back in without damaging everything. So what I'm gonna do is do what I always do. 
put it aside, and repackage it later. So, where do I start? Because, so, like I said, I'm going to make two videos out of here. Uh, let's go here. <sighs> Smiley Face Pancake Waffle Maker. Again, it's taped up a little, a little shabby. I'm not quite sure if it's going to be a new product or not. I'm hoping it is. If I can get this box open without ripping, ripping this right here. There we go. Yeah, it doesn't look all the the quality is terrible by the look. Either that, it's uh, either been used and broken, or the quality is not is not that great. Oh, there we go. Just shut it. Okay, so that there. Oh, I see. So that goes up. This is brand new. Uh, I don't know if it doesn't stay. Or they come out for cleaning. I'll have to take a better look at that. Here's another one here. So you have the plate that's in there, and then okay, so it's just a different design. There's the eye, there's the tongue, there's the mouth. That's pretty cute. This is brand new. Um didn't look like it by the packaging. Not unless somebody said the same thing I did, they ordered it. And they were a little disappointed in the quality of it. Because it seems a little rinky dink, but I'll have to dig into this and make sure it's all in working order. Let's see here. I'm trying to get a better look. I don't know if that's just uh, factory, factory, uh, lubricant or if it's actually been used oh wow what a pain what a pain what a pain boys and girls there we go yeah I didn't put it in much better than how I found it Take a better look into that. Come on. Okay. We have Chefman Electric Kettle. All these boxes are really, really beat up. Uh, I don't know if these are all shelf poles off the off the warehouse floor uh, just on the shape of the packaging or or what do we have going on here it's just everything seems to be a really bad packaging this time okay it's a nice nice kettle take a look like I said before anything water related you can generally tell uh, if it's new or not so there is water marks on it so it has been used. So again, we'll try and uh, we'll try and clean that up. And if I can't look at if I can't get it looking like uh, brand new, eh, you know what? I'm generally not too inclined on selling used stuff. Uh, I mean, I will and just you know sell it as used. The only problem is you can buy these for you know fifty, sixty dollars brand new. So if they're used. You're generally not going to get a bunch of money. It might have to be one of those uh, into the driveway garage sale items. And then again, if that's the case, you're looking at fifteen dollars, which is which is a shame, really. If somebody used it once, now they get a, a sixty dollar kettle for fifteen dollars. So what do we have here? This is a nice, uh, nice. This is actually a nice. You guys can take a look at that. I don't know if it's gonna come through that far away. A nice electric kettle. These I know generally go for uh, a few dollars, and at least it's packaged really good. There's the base there. I'm just gonna show you guys what it looks like. And they, like I said, the demand usually get more money. Oh, that's uh, 
that's brand new. That's tag still on there. That's beautiful. But I will take a better look. I'll make sure inside there's no watermarks. But I think that's a brand new product. So if I had to get one of them that was brand new, this is the one I'd rather have. Absolutely uh, impressed with that. That's nice. I'm happy with that. Stag EKG kettle. Huh. Take a look at 200 Fahrenheit for temperature. That was a good find. We have NBJX Amscope, Los Angeles. I am not experienced in that at all. I have no idea. Let's take a look. camera solution disc okay well at least looks like whatever it is everything is in this little box let me uh, take this out see what we have Cam something to do with the camera Top. Well, it's not. The top is that way, but I guess that doesn't fit. Wow! Look at that. That's uh, that's impressive. It is a microscope, huh? You know what? I've never had a microscope before. That is cool. Really cool. I'm trying to see. I don't know if it's been used. Uh, I mean, it's a little, a little daunting to find out exactly how this thing works uh, to make sure. I mean, everything's on it. Not, I don't know if it's brand new, if it's, uh, if it's a return. Wow, I'm gonna have to do some homework and make sure this works. Hopefully that's, uh, supposed to move like that yeah you know what this is a uh, if this is how if this is new what a beautiful find wow telescope there you go um not my forte uh let's see how we did this here i think that's how it went give or take so good find, good find, really good find, um, telescope, again, uh, I'm not experienced uh, when it comes to products like this, so uh, I have to get somebody to take a look at it for me, just to make sure that everything is the way it's supposed to be before I start selling, because I hate to sell something like that, I mean, obviously, it was taken out of the box. Just you can tell the way it's been taped. Uh, somebody sent it back with just regular uh, tape on there. So that's what I'm afraid of. Making sure I have to make sure everything is good on this. Other than that, that's a that's a really good product. So what I'm going to do is throw that there for now, and then let me bring this other one up for everybody to see. Because here's one of my other appliances another pressure cooker come on there we go okay there's that has been taken out it's broken in there but not a big deal Pressure cooker. Anything in there? Kind of. I think there's a watermark. I'm not sure. Have to dig deeper into that. How about 
all the tools are still wrapped up in plastic cord is in there so I'll have to take everything out to see if the actual bin itself if there's any water has ever been in there other than that it looks like it's in excellent condition so I'm gonna have to say that's a that's a good find and uh, we'll dig deeper into it pressure cooker uh, sorry guys about the room so same situation on uh, every uh, video I do just lack of room uh, just trying to say so like I said I'm gonna break this into a couple uh, what do we have here so we have a air fryer it's a little smaller one four and a half quart Nice old crack of the, the cardboard's always a good sign. Always a good sign. It's looking good. It's looking good. tell if it's been used it's been cleaned very very well again like any electronic part that I have what I'll have to do plug her in make sure it works and uh, we take it from there so four and a half quart air fryer it's a little on a smaller side we used to do, we used to have a small one like this too it is good for a single person or maybe uh, a family of two, you, you can get away with it without a problem. Uh, I just find that if you have kids, um, it's not big enough. You have to move up to the 5.8 quart or if you go to the oven style, uh, where you can get them from 10 to 15 quart. But even the 5.8 uh, works, works really well. I just find that these four and a half, uh, they only work so so good if, uh, if you have uh, two people good other than that no good Okay, see what we have here And my ten me ten might I'm not sure exactly Okay, let's see Compatible with Windows 7 I wonder if it's compatible with Windows 10 uh, What do we have? Okay, so this looks like another uh, Portable has been opened. You can tell how the cords are just thrown in here. They're not factory wrapped, but that's okay. It is a portable uh, monitor, like the other one I had showed you earlier. So there you go. Has the has the cover on the front still, which is a good sign. So. There we go. Bring this down. Oh. Not sure. Oh, there we go. So, okay, so that just folds easy enough. Don't want to take it all doing now. I'm glad it still has the cover on it. Makes my job a lot easier. Keeps the screen in uh, brand new condition. Menu, power on. Again, I will, um, no power to it right now, obviously. Uh, I have to plug it in, make sure everything is A-OK, -okay, and we have a good find here. Again, not sure on the demand of uh, portable monitors. Uh, this one here you could use, it's got the stand there, so you could use it as a mini monitor for your computer. Uh, just trying to not make a mess on this wrapper here. I'm not having uh, much sucks, suck, success. Okay, so that's a good point. Put all that back, make it all pretty later. 
go. Another monitor, which is good. Down, actually, me if I can. I'm gonna tape that up. We have 80 watt, 5000K LED light. Okay, so I've seen these before. Let's see the condition if it's new. This is a, a light, outdoor light. You would put this uh, above your, for people that have detached garages, like garages on their uh, cottage uh, or even their house. But to get this out with one piece, you can hear everything rattling around in here. Okay, that's just a bracket. So, I don't like how they threw all that back in. Okay, so something's broken. This piece here obviously had come off of here, and this is why it is sent back. So, it's, it's a shame brand new but this piece right here so this is where that came from just wondering uh you know what that's a metal uh i don't know if uh maybe you could even get jb weld to put that back on if not i mean you do you can secure it from these holes here not sure if that's going to be imperative or not to make it work but again i'll rig it up see if it works and somebody will definitely pick this up for the right price not sure what something like this goes for but for the right price everybody will pick something like this up because it's not a it's not major where it broke so have to clean this up a little bit come on guys if you guys send anything back try and do your best uh, putting it back in a, in a good manner I'm not sure exactly what that's for it's a plug huh, that's weird I wonder if that plug is okay so you know what you have an option you can either hardwire it or you can put those wires in here and then have a plug that goes in like that. It's a different plug though. Yeah, cool. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna throw that back on. I'm gonna open just a couple more products and then I'm gonna save the rest for later. Again, Gourmia, a lot of uh, Gourmia products uh, this time. Not sure why, this is, Again, I'm not sure if it's used. It looks uh, looks new inside. I don't know if it's just dusty. Okay, it's not packaged properly, so it has been again taken out of the package. Could have been a shelf pull. Um, like I've mentioned in a lot of my videos, not all returns are, re are returns from people sending them back. They are shelf pulls. They are. Uh, distressed or uh, damaged packaging so I will that goes there that goes there I'm assuming it's almost like a Keurig water goes in there I just have to find out how to use this Oh, I see. So that locks that. Keurig goes in there. This is brand new. Never been used. That, I can tell 100%. Again, so there you go. It scratches on this thing right here. It's one of those products. Where it was, I don't know. Um, it looks a little, it looks a little beat up. Uh, Dust-wise, scratched-wise. But you know what? I can tell without a doubt that uh, it hasn't been used. So 
it's a good find. Something like this. I don't know if I keep it for the office. Kind of makes it easier. Just put the pot in and wham bam. You have your uh, coffee made up. So, there, I'm losing my mind here. There you go. Another good product. Kind of cheap. Cheap feeling quality wise. I would imagine, uh, I'm not familiar with this brand. So, I don't think it's worth uh, that much money. Considering you can buy a Keurig now for a relatively, a pretty inexpensive price. So, I don't see this going for too much money. But again, nonetheless, it's a brand new product. Easy sell. Great for college or university students. Uh, they can bring it in. Make yourself the one coffee. Last product for this video. It is a mystery box. Okay, we have multiple things in here. Bag. It's kind of weird. Nope. Oh, this, okay, so this is a pump. Inflates. Inflator. So it's a pump to inflate the main product, which I'll get to because I'm not sure exactly what it is yet. Get that out. Well, I have a lot of repackaging to do. Holy smokes. This stuff is not going in easy. So what do we what do we have? Drive travel lighter. Okay, so it's a mattress for your vehicle. Okay, there you go. I was wondering what the picture was. It's a mattress for small space vehicle. They're showing a car that's in Cantonese or Mandarin. Um, so let's just say I can't uh, decipher what it says. And that's exactly what it is. So I'll have to. It's not packaged properly. Here's the here's the bag it should have been in. And it's not. So now I will have to get the pump, blow all this up, uh, make sure that it doesn't leak, and uh, take it from there. Again. You know what, I don't think it's going to be a high demand product, but you know, I guess if you travel a lot, you kind of sleep in your car if you have to, or any of those other occasions where you kind of need just a small little uh, blow up bed, it's good. But that's what I have for now. Um, I have to try and clean everything up. Sorry about the mess. Uh, you know, try and get to everything later. Wow, I just don't know where I'm going to put all this stuff. That's what happens when you get two pallets at the same time, unfortunately. It's kind of a, you know, chaos in here. But thanks for watching. Do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. And until next time, see ya.